This is the solution to quiz 8. Okay, so we're given this nonlinear equation to solve, clearly state the natural domain. Okay, so the natural domain that is, we need to solve 4x plus 32 is greater or equal to 0. So 32 is greater or equal to 4x. So 8 is greater or equal to x. So then expressing this in interval notation, it would be negative infinity to 8 inclusive. OK, 2. Now we're going to perform our algebraic steps. Okay, so the first thing we'll do, we'll need to do is square both sides. So x squared is square root of negative 4x plus 32 squared. But we're going to mark this because squaring both sides is not a truth preserving operation. So it may be that we introduce an error in doing this. We introduce a, a, an erroneous solution. Okay. So x squared is negative 4x plus 32. Okay. So now let's get everything on one side. So how about x squared plus 4x minus 32 is equal to 0. OK, so then does this quadratic factor? Sure it does. How about uh, x plus 8 multiplied by x minus 4 equal to 0? <coughs> so the solutions are negative 8 and positive 4. But really, these are solutions to that equation, and it remains to be seen if they're solutions to the original. So those are the candidates. So now we need to check each one. So in the first place, let's check x is negative 8. So is this in the domain? Okay, the answer is yes. Negative 8 is in there. Now we need to uh, plug it in <coughs> and see. Uh, well, negative 8 equal to the square root of negative 4 times negative 8 plus 32. Well, negative 4 times negative 8 is positive 32 plus 32 is 64 so negative 8 equal to square root of 64 so negative 8 equal to 8 and of course this equation is false okay let's check the other one so we'll check uh, x is 4 so is that in the domain Yes. So domain. Yes. So now let's check the original equation. Okay, so 4 equal to square root negative 4 times 4 plus 32. So 4 is equal to uh, negative 16 plus 32 is just 16. So 4 is equal to 4. This equation is true. So the conclusion the only solution is x is 4. Okay, notably for this equation, just 
that's the answer to the question. But by way of ex by way of explanation, uh, this equation so negative eight equal to negative eight is a false equation, so is false. But when you square both sides, negative 8 squared equal to 8 squared, which is to say 64 equal to 64, this is true. So squaring both sides doesn't necessarily preserve the truth. <coughs> Okay, solve each of the following, express each one in interval and as a plot. Okay, so then add 4 to all sides, so mm, add 4, negative 5, less or equal to 2x, less than 12, divide by 2, negative 2 and a half, less or equal x, less than Six. So expressing this uh, in interval notation, that would be negative two and a half closed to six open, and <coughs> negative two and a half to six. Okay, for this one, mm, subtract five from all positions. Uh, negative seven less than negative 3x less or equal uh, 20. Now we're going to divide by 3, so negative 7 over negative 3, and this will be just x after dividing by negative 3, and this will be 20 divided by negative 3. And the notable thing that occurs here so because we are dividing by negative, the direction of all the inequalities reverses. So this will be 7 thirds. Mm. I got a little smeared. So 7 thirds, uh, that is 2 and a third. So that's 2.3 repeating greater than x greater or equal to so that will be negative so negative uh, 20 over 3 that would be 18 and 2 thirds so 18.6 repeating fractions are fine too uh, so written uh, in interval notation that would be negative 18 0.6 repeating to 2.3 repeating open. And then in interval notation, negative 18.6 repeating to 2.3 repeating. Okay, and the last one. <coughs> so, um, Okay. In principle, is there anything that you could do, anything you can put inside of the absolute value so that the output is less than 2? Sure. The input needs to be between negative 2 and positive 2. That is to say, we need negative 2 less than 2x plus 9 over 5 less than 2. Because this is the between the twos case. <clears throat> okay, multiply mm, everything by 5. So negative 10 less than 2x uh, plus 9 less than 10. Subtract 9 now, so negative 19 less than 2x. Uh, less than 1. 
divide everything by 2, so negative 9 and a half less than x less than a uh, half. So in interval notation, that would be negative 9 and a half to half, and then as a plot, negative 9 and a half to half. So for part B, you can ask, well, is there anything in principle that I could put in the absolute value so that something greater or equal to 1 would come out? Uh, so for example, a 5 would work, uh, but so would things like negative 5. So this is the, this is the uh, outside the ones case, which is to say we need to be smaller than negative one or or greater than positive one. So two minus three x over four is less or equal to negative one or two minus three x over four is greater or equal to positive one. Okay. So now we'll solve these individually. <clears throat> so 2 minus 3x less or equal to negative 4. Uh, we can move the 4 to the left side and the 3 to the other side. So that'd be 6 less or equal to 3x. Divide by 3, that'd be 2 less or equal x. For this one, 2 minus 3x greater or equal to 4. We could switch the sides again. So this would be negative 2 greater or equal to 3x. <clears throat> so negative 2 thirds greater or equal to uh, x. Or In interval notation, <clears throat> in interval notation, this is negative infinity to negative two thirds, including negative two thirds, union two to infinity, and then as a plot, that looks like this. So negative two thirds here, and then we're missing us uh, a bit, and then mm, two to infinity. Okay, and then for this one, you can ask, well, is there anything in principle you could put in to the absolute value so that something smaller than negative two would come out? And the answer is no. So the answer is no solution.